hello everyone. Um, I'm in Brussels today for the Brussels Motor Show to see the Microlina. Um, got here last night from the UK, missed my train, um, uh, so I had to get a later one, so I got pretty, got here about six, seven o'clock last night. Um, going to do some shoots around Brussels today and uh, yeah, most importantly go to the, the motor show that I've been looking forward to for quite a few months um, to see the Microlina. Um, as most of you know, I've got the Microlina UK Facebook page, um, which has been growing for the last four years. Um, never myself personally seen um, the Microlina in its flesh. So yeah, I'm super excited to see uh, what it looks like. So we'll do a tour of other cars at the Motor Show, and I'll also do um, you know a little video of the Microlina inside and out. Um, and I mainly really get an insight um, to see when it's going to be launched in the UK and other countries in Europe. Um, I know there's a lot of people in Asia that are looking to get it shipped over there as well. So I'll ask the guys on the stand and see if I can get as much information as possible. Um, but yeah, I'll, um, I'll leave you now and I'll give you an insight of it a bit later on. See you later. Pioneer Series. Okay, so here we are in Brussels at the Microlina stand, and uh, we have one of the directors here. So yeah, if you could tell us about the Microlina and how uh, how important it is to launch it out. Of course, welcome to the Brussels Motor Show. Thank First you. time in two years again yeah. that we're there, we're live, a lot of people there, yeah. so we're really happy. And it's the premiere of the Microlino in Belgium. We started the commercialization yesterday. As you can see, we've got a nice Dolce uh, Paris Mint Green car over here, and a Pioneer Grey. I'll do Matt over there. Yeah. You all know the Microlino already, I guess. Small. Indeed. Small car, full electric. Yeah. Um, a lot of interest, as you can see. A lot yeah. of people walking by, yeah. looking at the car, trying to get in. Yeah. For sure, trying to get out. Yeah. Is that Absolutely. the most tricky thing? <laughs> Finding the small yeah, of button course. to get out. Yeah. Um, yesterday, we had the first part really interested in what kind of car it is. Mm -hmm. How does it drive? How does it feel yeah. to sit inside? Is it big enough? Because I'm pretty tall. The people are like, do yeah. you fit in there? Yeah, we even fit both yeah, yeah. in there. You must be about six foot five. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, we fit a uh, one, 192 yeah. in there. Yeah, here, yeah. So, uh, so you're, you're um, pretty tall, but you can fit in a, a Microlina pretty easily. Okay, um, excellent. Pretty amazed about the trunk as well. Yeah. Because it's it's really big. Yeah, yeah. 30 liters. Yeah, can you show um, us the boot? Of course. Uh, it's open here. Let me have a look at it. Yeah. It's yeah. quite amazing for a small car to yeah. have a boot like this. How many litres? Uh, 230 litres. 230. Nice. A lot of bottles of Belgian beer fit in there. And what three launched? kind of batteries. Yeah. Uh, 6, uh, 6 kilowatt, 10.5 kilowatt and yeah. 14 kilowatt. Okay. That's in kilometres, yeah. 90 kilometres, 100 okay. for the, the head cars. Yeah, okay. Excellent. All right. Well, it's lovely meeting you and we'll do a tour inside of the Microlina. Go so ahead. yeah, thanks so much. You're welcome. welcome. Here we are with Mike Medina at last, waiting four years to get in one of these. So automatic. Really nice display there. And then we close it. Yeah. Where is it? It's behind here. Ah, okay. And you open it like this, and then the door to close it. So I've got a soft close. To open it. And what model? What model is this one? This one is an urban. Urban. Yeah. Um, mint, mint green. The color, yeah. uh, medium battery, 
and a couple of uh, options and uh, features inside. Excellent, nice. Very beautiful car, very beautiful. Let's get it to the UK. Hello, uh, so it's my last day in Brussels. Um, as you know, if you've seen the video, uh, it has been a great motor show in Brussels. Um, Mike Colina was great. Um, I'm really glad I, I saw it in the flesh. Uh, I still want it really badly uh, and I would uh, love it to come to the UK. Not sure how long that's going to be. I, you know, uh, It might be another year or two, I would have thought. But it was, uh, yeah, great, you know, sitting in it, pretty, pretty roomy. Um, I'm five foot ten. Um, uh, Vincent, as you know, uh, by what I've interviewed, he was uh, over six foot, quite tall, six foot three, and he fit in it um, pretty well. Um, and the boot space is good as well, uh, over 200 litres. Um, and however, the door closes and opens, and the button on the side, uh, and the secret button to, to open it so, so you can get out. Really clever. Um, pretty basic inside, but that's all you need uh, for a micro car. Um, and yeah, just can't wait to get it to the UK now. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll speak to you soon.